This video will provide singing tips that explain what's happening with your vocal cords, vowels, and air blow when your vocal type is flip falsetto and how to fix it. Get ready to improve your voice now. Hi, I'm Chuck Gilmore with Power to Sing. You sing great when the physical function of the vocal cords, vowels, and air blow are balanced. Then if you connect emotionally with the audience and give yourself fully to your song, the singing is wow. What if your vocal type is flip falsetto? What's out of balance? What's the physical cause? What's the effect on the sound of your voice? How do you fix it? Here's some singing tips for flip falsetto. What's out of balance? What does it sound like? First, let's talk about flip. Vocal cords out of balance. The vocal cords may eliminate mass as you sing higher, but lack strength and coordination to remain connected. This causes the vocal cords to suddenly separate. If they don't reconnect, you stay in the condition of falsetto. Another way the chords may be out of balance is that they start firmly connected, but, but then relax too much as you sing higher. While not a complete disconnection, this creates a noticeable release of more air, either gradually or suddenly. Ah. Vowels out of balance. The vowels may or may not be spreading wide. Air blow is out of balance. Air blow might be too strong or forceful, or air blow may be too weak. Often air blow is inconsistent and uneven. If one or more of these are out of balance, it's likely the external muscles squeeze and the larynx is pulled up. The resulting sound may be a sudden break in the tone. or from a firm full tone to suddenly breathy. If the chords reconnect, it sounds like a momentary crack or bump. In an otherwise consistent tone. Or rather than suddenly, gradually the voice gets softer or breathier as you sing higher. Usually this is to avoid flipping or cracking. Here's an example of a sudden break. And I Let's talk about falsetto. The vocal cords are out of balance. Just the upper edges of the vocal cords come together, usually with an oval opening or a slit between them, which allows more air to escape. Usually this is on the middle to higher pitches, but can be throughout the entire vocal range. Vowels out of balance. The vowels may be distorted because of the imbalance in the vocal cords and air blow. Air blow is out of balance. An overabundance of air, blow, and flow. When these things are out of balance, it sounds like tone is light or breathy. Words are muddied and can't be understood. Forceful on high notes, but barely heard on low notes. Overtones are missing, making the tone feel weaker hollow and incomplete. Singing tips. How to fix the flip falsetto. Vocal cords in balance. Here's a vocal exercise to help balance the vocal cords. You use the word gi. You may need to add a dopey or hooty sound at first. Gi. Do this on the five tone scale. Gi, 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 gi. Gee, 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 gee. 
vowels in balance. The balance for vowels is greatly assisted by balanced chords and airflow, and by pronouncing the words like you speak them. Vowel narrowing as you sing higher will prevent possible spreading. For example, in the chorus of This Used to Be My Playground, Madonna sings, and why do they always say? It's easy to break on why. Narrow Y to wa, W-U-H, to keep it from breaking. And why do they always say? I'm singing in the women's octave. <laughs> and why? Narrowing the Y to wa. Why do they always say? And why? And why do they always say? Air blow in balance. A great exercise to balance air blow is the word go. The G helps slow the amount of air being sent to the vocal cords. Also, reducing the volume will help reduce the force of the air blow. Go, 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 go. The resulting sound may be strong, consistent, and connected tone from bottom to top. There's a full complement of vocal overtones throughout your range. Words are understandable. Compare these two singers. One sings in a very breathy or falsetto connection, the other with the, with the chords connected and consistent. Some similarities between the vocal types flip falsetto and pulled chest high larynx. Both vocal types may flip, crack, or break into falsetto. A major difference is our psychology. With pulled chest high larynx, we in, intend to be big and powerful, and so we force the voice higher, which causes the larynx to rise and the chords to disconnect. The flip falsetto vocal type might approach singing higher without any noticeable strain but flips or cracks anyway. This isn't the result of forcing the voice higher, but rather a muscular habit. The larynx pops up and the voice cracks. Or from the onset of the singing, the vocal cords start out in falsetto. Flip falsetto is just one of the several vocal types. Do you know your vocal type? I'm not referring to whether you're soprano, alto, tenor, or bass. Your vocal type uncovers imbalance in your vocal cords, vowels, and air blow. It reveals what you tend to do when you sing. Visit PowerToSing.com and take the vocal test, which I call the power test. Take the quiz and discover your vocal type. Then go to the Knowledge Center and watch the videos about your vocal type. The exercises to download are designed to help you balance your voice so you can improve immediately. I'm Chuck Gilmore with Power to Sing. You can sing higher with beauty, confidence, and power. I'll see you inside the next video.